What's up, peeps? Up in Philly today, today's adventure, we're going to Angelo's Pizzeria. The famous Angelo's Pizzeria. So we're gonna head over there. They're about uh, three blocks away from South Street on 9th Street, right down the street from the Italian market. So we're gonna go check them out, see if these steaks are really as good as they say they are. Time for an adventure. All right, so we parked the car about a block or two away, and we're gonna ride down to this place. And for what I hear, they opened at 11 o'clock. There's already a line. I drove past it once, and there's already a line. So I actually tried to go here. I think it was Super Bowl. It was that Saturday of Super Bowl, and they ran out of bread. So they 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 um, they go until they run out of stuff. recap here all right so the way this works is you go on there you order your food you give me your phone number and your name they didn't make it and then they call you when it's ready and then you pay so they said about 20 minutes it's about 11 30 now so probably 10 of 10 to 12 or so forth um, go back over there and see, see if my food's ready now one of the cool things about being here is a lot of people are waiting outside. There's a couple benches or whatever. But if you just walk maybe a half a block, there's a big park right here. So here's a big park, you know, nice little park. There's even restrooms. So you don't have to wait right in front of the place. You can come over here to the park and it's probably a good place to eat over here too, you know, place to hang out. One thing that I've learned, when you do group rides, that's kind of like how you increase your skills. And going slow is a no. You don't really want to go slow because when you hit these bumps, if you're going slow, it grabs on them. So you want to hit them with a good amount of speed. So it looks like this park has one way in. But you got some people over there. It looks like they're enjoying some steaks right here. There's a couple of seats. So the entrance is right over that way. That's where the entrance is. You can find it. If you walk, drive around this block, you might be able to find a parking spot. It's two hour parking, but you don't have to pay for it. And you can just get go right in. And they look like they just scored a good one there. All right. <laughs> so to prepare for this, I had a big dinner. I was literally like right around the corner at this place called The Saloon last night for dinner. Shout out to my boy Cam. After dinner last night, I didn't have anything to eat. I had my coffee this morning, so I am ready to eat. But it's right on the point of not being hungry, so I'm not gonna give a review because I'm hungry. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes. I'm gonna go in and see if they got my steak. Damon, what's your order? Cheese steak. Last four, your phone number? All right, thank you. No problem, have a good day. You too, take care. All right, so we got the steak. It's gonna head over to the park, get a little taste of this, and see what it's hitting for. All right. Finally, we've got the Angelo's cheese steak right here. Check that out. 
Let's get a little tracking going on here. Angelo's cheese steak. Smells good, it's in the paper right here. So the steak came to about $17 plus tax. It's PA, PA. Um, what do we get? There's the receipt right there. You see that? We went with the uh, Cooper Sharp fried onions, sweet peppers, mushrooms, and mayo. That's the way I like them. So we're gonna taste this out. See what we got. I would say on first inspection, the smell is good. It's a nice, normal smell. Um, nothing's really jumping out. The thing that I will say, I like this, the, the choices of cheeses that they offer. In some places, I don't do cheese with. I usually do provolone, actually. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna try this Cooper. So I'm gonna, let's open it up here. So here's the review of Angelo's Pizzeria Cheesesteak. I really enjoyed the bread. They make the bread nice and fresh there. It's really good. The Cooper cheese was okay. I probably would go with provolone for the next time. They give you nice meat. It wasn't shredded. It was a good consistency. Bread was lightly toasted. Had a nice little pop to it. The way I like to eat my steaks, I, I will hunch over, then that way all the juices and everything that falls out of the steak fall back on the paper and they don't fall on me. When it's a good steak for me, I can't eat it sitting down. I gotta stand up and eat it and, and just get messy with it. And it's a really good steak. Definitely worth the trip. It's about two, three blocks away from South Street on 9th Street. So it's up from the Italian market and down from South Street on 9th Street. Real easy to get to. There's a park right there to eat at. And as far as the rating on this steak, I'm going to give this steak a nine. Really, it's about the bread for this one. The bread, at first I didn't think I was going to like the bread, but it's, it's a really good steak. It was very enjoyable. I look forward to going there again. So... Have you ever had a cheesesteak and what's your favorite cheesesteak place? There's a lot of different variations of cheesesteaks out there. So until next adventure, remember, take care of each other. Peace out and I'll see you all soon.